What's up, YouTube? I'm actually getting ready right now to go to a local flea market in Tacoma. It's a vintage flea. I'm gonna have a lot of homies selling there and I have not gone. They've been doing it for a few months now. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. We're gonna be kind of vloggy, might get some food or something and then just show you guys whatever I pick up at the market. And yeah, I'm going with my friend Andy, Cascadia Vintage. I don't think he's ever actually been in a video with me. So I'm really stoked to get him on camera and I'll put his Instagram up on the screen right now. You guys should definitely go follow him. He's like one of my best friends and we've known each other a minute and he's part of the reason that I do all this stuff so go follow my friend andy cascadia vintage right here and yeah let me finish getting ready i'm wearing this really sick echo in the bunny men shirt and it matches my hair so i draw my phone right after that clip <laughs> so anyways uh yeah obviously my hair is crazy it's still drying i'm gonna finish getting ready we're gonna go to this vintage flea market in tacoma if you guys are new here my name is jackson i run an instagram and youtube and a depop called levels vintage if you guys would smash a like on the video hit subscribe i'd really appreciate it and let's get into it All right, we got the boy Andy, Cascadia Vintage. We're gonna head to Tacoma right now and see what's good. We're like, probably gonna be there like 20 minutes before they start, but um, it's always good to get to Fleas early so you can check out what they got. And uh, we'll link up with some homies there and I'll bring you guys along and we will see what we get. So let's go. Let's get it. We here, we walking up, I see shirts. We might buy some. <laughs> My man Sheed with the first deal of the day. Yeah, my first customer. Yeah, let's go. 100 buccarinos, first deal of the day. Let's go. Cascadia Vintage getting the cop of the day for my man Flavor Vintage right here. Sheesh, the Sanrio joint, 35 bucks. Dang, that's a dope one. All right, 10 pieces, 100 bucks. Again, shout out Rashid, my dude vintage guy, 1985. First pickup of the day, we're gonna go back. We've only been like to two vendors, three vendors. So we're gonna go back in. Okay. Look at my man, George. Look at this shirt. Oh my <laughs> God. Wow. Okay, he didn't have to do it like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
All right, we done for the day. Real quick, uh, Andy Cascadia Vintage, what did you just cop? All right, we got a Depeche Mode 1987, 88, music for the masses world tour. I was looking at this one, I almost grabbed this one. He wanted a hundred, a hundred bucks. Andy scooped in and grabbed this one. And then this other one that he got, we didn't even know how much he wanted, pulled up. And then he was like, yeah, a hundred for the no doubt too. And dude, this no doubt is crazy the back hit too is absolutely nuts 200 bucks some sick personals like honestly there's still meat on the bone too there if you did ever want to sell those but yeah we're about to head out i got a load of stuff so much stuff so i'll show you guys everything that we got when i get back home and yeah let's get it so really quick this is that sanrio that uh, Andy got. And dude, honestly, I feel like this is like a hundred dollar tea. Sanrio stuff is like popping off and it's dated 93, 96 is what the tag looks like. It is like a kind of paperish tag. So really sick. I think you, what was this? 30, 35? Uh, 35. 35. Yeah. 35. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a single stitch. Oh, too. it's single on the sleeves. Yeah. yeah. Single stitch on the sleeves. Yeah. This is an easy cop, easy cop. I just kept telling him if he didn't want it to pass it to me, but damn that's a really good scoop too and then i mean it's on head but he got this really really sick pearl gem hat that one was 40 too so really good scoops here's the mound of everything i'm gonna show you guys everything when i get home later but we got some good stuff in here i want to get sandwiches at the best place for vegan sandwiches in tacoma which is 11 11 let's go all right we're home now i realized i didn't show you guys the sandwich that i got really want to show you but i got another one to go but here's the pile of stuff we got i want to say quickly estimating i think i spent right over 200 dollars, but we'll get into it i'll show you guys everything we got and there's some great stuff in here so let's go so i was actually curious how much i did spend today so i just added it up really quick this is a stack of teas that i spent five dollars each on and there are 14 right here this is a stack of 10 shirts everything in here was ten dollars there's 10 of them and then this is the thing i spent the most on today it's a jinko shirt i'll get into the details later but this one was twenty dollars so the most i spent on a single item today was twenty dollars all of this all added up is a hundred and ninety dollars so i did not even spend 200 bucks today 190 bucks i got a lot of good stuff let's get into it all right you guys hopefully this lighting is okay and you don't hear my dishwasher it's going it's making a lot of noise in the background anyways we're gonna get into all of these pieces like i said i spent five dollars on some pieces ten dollars on some pieces and twenty dollars on the final piece i'm just gonna go through them really quick just a brief explanation of why i like to source at flea markets i really like supporting my local pickers thrifters people just like me that are out here trying to resell and make a living off of it or some extra cash so it's really cool to support and shop small and locally and then also it's kind of just curated for you so whereas you can step in a thrift store you never really know what you're gonna get you can go to a vintage flea and either just for personal shopping or you might be able to come up on some deals you can go through curated booths that people put together for that event so it's really cool I always find really good stuff in the five dollar piles ten dollar piles I always am looking at stuff like that because typically it's stuff that I can sell on Depop for like twenty to thirty dollars so let's get into it I'm gonna show you guys the pieces what I paid for them and what I hope to get out of them so this first one is a big green bay packers front print shirt it's just front print no back print this is single stitch it's size xl it's in really good condition anything big graphics do really well on depop i'm expecting to get at least 25 dollars for this shirt so i spent five dollars on it into 25 really good deal i was only at the vintage flea for like an hour so to come out with all these pieces within an hour time and be able to make a ton of good profit on it super super sick for me i really really love sourcing that way i hope you guys like these videos if you do drop a comment below let me know what you think of sourcing at vintage fleas i did one other video of me doing this in portland and i kind of want to keep doing it vintage fleas are going to be popping up all over the place so let me know in the comments below this is another five dollar piece this is a harley davidson long sleeve anything harley davidson long sleeve with sleeve hits does really well on depop front back and sleeve hits and this one is single stitch it's size large it looks a little short for a large has some distressing and everything but I think minimum I'll be able to get like $30 or so for this. And this was another $5 piece. We have this super sick, really faded 49ers tee. It's on a logo seven tag. I really love the like rib striped details around the neck. It is single stitch. It has such a nice fade on it. Super nice fade, really clean besides that. This is a size XL. And yeah, this would probably be at least $25 on my Depop. If you guys did want to buy anything in this video from me too, hit me up on Instagram, loveless.vintage. That's going to be the easiest way to get a hold of me if you want to buy anything in this
this video before it goes to Depop. Most of this stuff probably won't make it to Depop for another month or so because I have so much inventory. So if you see anything you like, hit me up on Instagram, love the stop vintage, and let's keep it going. This was another $5 find. It does need an oxy bath that has some stains, but this is a 1988 Wheel of Fortune promo tee. I thought this was super sick. I almost actually passed on this, but I was like, for $5, why not? It's size large on this Stedman blank. And yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I haven't really looked up Wheel of Fortune tees. Don't know if they go for much, but just off the top of my head, I would assume I'd get at least 20, 25 bucks for this. We have this Chicago Bulls. I think this is a champion shirt. This is a NBA Eastern Conference champion shirt. It is pretty stained and has some holes, but this was in a $5 pile and Bulls stuff does really well right now. This is on a starter blank size XL. It has this sick little starter patch on the sleeve too, and it is single stitch all the way around. We have this cool Seattle Mariners tee. This was in a $5 pile also. This one is a size large made in USA. This one is from 1998. It just has the front graphic and the little side like kidney graphic wraparound hit. Really cool. It's baseball season. I'll actually probably try to post this soon unless one of you guys wants it. This one I'd probably be around 25 or 30 ish dollars for. This was another $5 pile tee. I've had one of these like bright neon Hawaii print t-shirts before and I think I sold it for like 25 or 30 bucks on Depop. So another $5 pickup that I will sell on Depop. It's single stitch all the way around. It's just a jet gecko Hawaii tee. I really love the graphic and the colors and it's getting to be summer. So it'll be a good one for the Depop. You have another Green Bay Packers big print tee. This is on a Salem Sportswear size XL. Big graphic print. This one is single stitch all the way around. Super clean. This was another $5 piece. Easy $25.30 on my Depop. This one is newer age, but it is another Harley tee. It was in a $5 pile. It has a girl on the front with the logo spell out and then the downtown Seattle back hit. I just really like that back hit. I've had tees with that before. Super colorful. This one is a size XL and this one I'd hope to get at least $25 for. Another $5 pile pickup. This is a size large Yellowstone tee. I just really like that it is striped and then it has the Yellowstone graphic in this like blue. This one is single stitch all the way around again and I'll probably post this one for $25. We have a 1995 NCAA Final Four. This is a basketball tee. I've had these Final Four tees before and I've sold them for like 25 or 30 bucks. This was another $5 pickup. This is single stitch all the way around and it is super, super clean. So again, probably 25 or 30 bucks on this one. Another Green Bay shirt. I am not even a sports person at all, but I got a lot of Green Bay shirts. This one is really cool though. I love the graphic. This is another starter one, size XL on the starter blank and it has the little starter patch on the sleeve single stitch all the way around this one does need a clean it has some stains on it but another five dollar pile tee that i could not pass up on probably at least 25 30 bucks i've had this exact same tee for a different team but this like three quarter sleeves logo seven tee this one is for the denver broncos and i sold the other one for i think 30 or 35 bucks. I forget what team it was. I think it was the Patriots or something, but these ones are really sick. I love the sleeve details and everything. This one is pretty clean and it was another $5 pickup at least probably $30. Another $5 pickup. This is a size XL. I think this is just a like motorcycle run or something. And this is single stitch all the way around. I just really love the color of it. And that's what caught my eye. This is one of my favorite colors. As you guys can see, this is kind of the color of my hair. One of my favorite colors, anything with motorcycles, big colorful graphic prints do really well on Depop. This is at least a $25, $30 tee on Depop. So I took it for five bucks. Everything we're about to get into now was $10 a piece. And shout out my dude, Rashid. Vintage Guy 1985 for hooking me up on the deal. It was 10 pieces for $10, $100 flat. Super soaked on the deal. So the first thing we have up is this paint splattered Salem Sportswear Double XL Seattle Sonics crew neck sweatshirt. It is just the embroidered logo right here, Seattle Sonics. Really cool though. I love the paint distressing and details, honestly. And for $10, Sonic stuff does really well. I just sold a size medium Sonic shirt for like 55 bucks. Seattle Sonic stuff is just harder to find. They're a defunct team. So people really, really want their stuff. Even with all the paint splatter and everything, I think that I could at least get like four $40 or so for this. So I'm not exactly sure on pricing yet, but I'd say at least 40 bucks on this. 
this. This next piece, these are some of my favorite tees to post on Depop. You guys should know by now, these are these vintage like wraparound print t-shirts. This one is a cowboy and his horse having a fire in the nature with the stars and everything. Single stitch, this one is a size XL and this was 10 bucks. I would happily pay 10 bucks for these tees all day long. I sell them on my Depop for at least 30, at least 30, 30, 35, sometimes 40 for these tees. They just do really well for me. So that's the thing too, is if you guys have any of these tees, you wanna sell me wholesale, anything like that, I'm always buying for the right price, just hit me up. But I love these tees so much, at least 30, 35 bucks on Depop. We have another one. This one is just kind of a side wrap around. It's not all the way, but it is really sick. It has a horse and it says California. Big graphic, the colors are amazing. This is size XL, this is like in dead stock condition. Honestly, this is probably at least $35 on my Depop. Single stitch all the way around. Awesome colors, really, really like that one. This is another major Depop special, size XL. This is a wraparound print butterflies tee. You guys, I'll probably charge like 35, 40 bucks for this tee, honestly, on Depop. Butterfly stuff just goes crazy on Depop. I think it's kind of related to Brandy Melville style, stuff like that. This is a vintage one dated 1994, wraparound print. This one is super sick. Again, probably like 35, 40 bucks on Depop. This one, I could not believe. $10, you guys, he really hooked it up. This is a Metallica flame long sleeve. Flame hits on the sleeves, back hit to Metallica San Francisco. This is size large on a triple A. This is probably early-ish 2000s. And yeah, $10 for this, 10 bucks for this. I'm thinking minimum, this is at least probably like 50 bucks, probably like $50 on this one. Super, super dope. Really, really stoked about that one. Probably my favorite thing I picked up in this bundle. This one, I kind of picked up to see if I could rock it for personal. It's this Enough brand, and I feel like they kind of vibe off of Bum, Bum Equipment's vibes, but this is super sick. It just kind of reminds me of like a candy cane or something. It's like a button-up jersey. It was 10 bucks. Even if I can't rock it myself or I don't get enough wear out of it, I think I could easily sell it for like 30 or so, so I decided to grab this one too. If you guys want to see a picture of me in this and some sort of fit, leave it in the comments. I've been thinking about doing more fit-ish pics or maybe like fashion kind of stuff on YouTube. It's something that I really want to branch out into, like doing thrifted fits and stuff like that. So if you guys think that you would like that type of content, let me know, I'll try to start doing it. This one was super sick for $10 again. This is a big all over print, Ohio State, Buckeyes tee. I don't even care about sports. I don't even care what it is. If it is a big all over print graphic tee like this, I will love selling it on Depop. It will sell on Depop. This is probably gonna be at least like a $40 shirt on Depop. Doesn't even matter the team or anything. One time I found a basketball tee just like this and it was for like a made up team, like some team that didn't even exist. And I think I sold it for like $40. So it doesn't even really matter to me if it's just a big print graphic tea. I'm going to love to sell it on Depop. We have a few more $10 pieces. This is a Buttweiser tee. It's kind of like this pale pink. I had a tank top version of this and I recently sold it for I think $35 or so. So I think I could get around that for the tee, $35 or $40. Really, really cool classic graphic. Another $10 piece. We have this Washington three dog bowl. This is a Rose Bowl crew neck sweatshirt. It does have some holes and distressing on it, some cracking in the graphic and everything, but it's from 1993. It's the years that they won I think in a row 91 92 93 and honestly I only saw one other one like this on eBay and it was priced super high and one had sold for I think 50 or so bucks so for ten dollars even with some distressing I think the minimum I could get is like forty dollars or so I might just shoot kind of high on this one this one is a size large on that Onita blank this is one of my favorite vintage tags this is the last ten dollar piece that I picked up from him it is a Sturgis Black Hills Rally front and back print biker tee this is at least going to be a $30 tee on my Depop. Really love the wolves and everything. And then we have the eagle on the back. This one is a size XL on the all sport blank. And this is the last piece that I picked up. This is the $20 piece. It is so sick, you guys. This is a vintage Jinko. So you guys probably know their pants or their jeans, Jinko jeans. They're giant baggy like goth jeans. I'll put a picture up on the screen right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But they were super popular in the like early 2000s. This is a Jinko graphic t-shirt though and it's someone in like a straight jacket and it says Jinko Institution. The graphic is super sick. Honestly this looks like a corn shirt. That's what it reminds me of is this looks like a corn band tee and then the back bottom says oof. 
I don't know. It's super cool though, super clean, size large, but it fits really long. And the same exact one is listed on eBay for like $100. Not saying I think I could get $100 for this, but I think the minimum I would take for it is like 60. I'm probably shooting for like 80 bucks or so. So if you guys do hit me up for this piece, just know that. And yeah, again, I spent $20 on this. It was the most I had spent on a shirt. I didn't even look it up or anything when I was looking at the girl's booth. I just was thinking about it for a second and I was like, this shirt is totally worth $20. So I decided to grab it. If anything, I was gonna keep it and wear it, but it is really long, like I said. But that is the last piece that I picked up. If you made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate you. Please don't forget to drop a like. It really helps out my channel. It really helps me grow and make sure that the video gets seen by other people. Appreciate all you guys watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Depop. All the links to my socials are always in the video description down below. Again, this is Jackson with Loveless Vintage. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.